Welcome back to Techno Babylon. So we think that Regis has left us a message in the DNA of the plants around here. We have one part of the message, but I believe we need two more. So we need to take some samples, but the problem is there are thousands and thousands of plants to take samples from, so we need to be a little bit careful about which ones we take samples from, otherwise it will take 20 bajillion years. Now Jiglas told us that there's two in particular that we should look at, uh, Orchidacea, Isotria, and also one that has yellow flowers, spiny toxic leaves, and small fruit. So let's see if we can find those and get some samples. I better not. If I start taking every single specimen, I'll be here for days. Are the plant specimens the lab's working on? Alright, so I guess we're going to have to be very careful and look at every little detail to see if it matches. This one doesn't have any sort of a name. Well, it says Apegeal Plants, but I don't know what that means. I don't think that's a scientific name for it. Uh, but yellow flowers. Uh, check, I guess. Spiny toxic leaves. No. Small fruit. Nah. Are these all the same? Yep, they're all the same. A drone lays a finely controlled mist over the delicate specimens. Better not. It might tell the lab director. One of the plant specimens the lab's working on. Yep, another one. Nope, this one's red, as the description said. Need something that's yellow. I have no idea what anything on here means. This is the kind of thing that'd take a cram course in trans ed. Let's go inside one of these places. Should be more samples inside. Oh, hey. Oh, Neister, you're the guy that Chigwa said was kind of a... like... What did she say about you? A bit of an airhead, I think? He looks... unconventional kids these days. Oh god, I sound like Regis. Jesus, you do. Kids these days? What are you, like 60 years old? Hi there. Era of moral crisis, punishment of evil, you may suffer from moral law. Uh... What? Hi? My name's Dr. Max Lau. I'm a cell case specialist. Every Thursday, a tribe of domineering braggarts awkwardly smears the ugly fiction monitor with horses. Are you... what? You're not making any sense. Every Thursday, a tribe of domineering braggarts awkwardly smears the ugly fiction monitor with horses. Are you alright? Did March lend her a lot of money? What the hell is wrong with him? Do I need to call, like, an ambulance? Let's see if we can get anything out of him. Can I get your name? An evil engine of desire wrapped within a rude message. Okay. What's your role at this facility? An evil engine of desire wrapped within- Uh-huh. What happened here? I can't not promise to avoid not doing that thing I don't do. I see. Okay. Well, he's not gonna be any help. I give up. I can't not promise to avoid- um, let's go talk with Chigwa for a second. I want to know if that's normal. Excuse me, Dr. Chigwa. Make it quick, I'm busy. I tried talking to your intern. It wasn't helpful. Oh, never mind that. He's got aphasia. Isn't that treatable? Oh, yes. He just gave it to himself. It's what the kids are into these days. Crippling neurological disorders? Yes and no. Maladism, they call it. They give themselves old diseases. It only lasts about a week each time. And you let him do that? Mm, he's not public facing. And as long as it doesn't get in the way of his work. I figure we all did things the old folks thought were stupid back when we were kids. That sounds horrible. That's, that's really horrible. Why would you do that to yourself? I need to ask Neister about the tampered specimens. How do I cure his aphasia? Well, you wouldn't really cure it. He doesn't actually have the disease. It's essentially wetware designed to occupy the Wernicke and Broca regions of the brain. 
This then produces the symptoms of the disease. That's what they're going for. I can't wait a week for the wetware to break down. Find a way to break it down early then. If we've got an emergency contamination, we use hydroxypyruvate isomerase. It's an enzyme that instructs the fabricators and wetware to disassemble themselves. This is so adventure game. Not only like not only do I have to solve a case by finding an audio message hidden in the DNA of plants, but I also have to fix a a dude who gave himself a neurological disorder. <laughs> oh, what is it with adventure game just making the most absurd situations just to force you to have puzzles to, puzzles to solve? It's not like I didn't already have a puzzle to solve, that's the thing. I already had the plant puzzle, but they're like, you know what? Have another puzzle. Because adventure game. Uh. Is that all? For now. Then if you'll excuse Alright, so I need a thing stuff to give him to break down the wetware. I don't know where to get that stuff. Don't care. Let's not worry about it for now. I'll take your toolbox, thank you. I can't figure out what any of these tools are for. Take it anyway. Who cares? Or don't. They look important. Let's touch it. I hear taxi drivers make the best coffee. All right, all right, I won't touch them. <laughs> Was that his way of saying don't touch it? Ooh, yellow. I better not. If I start to... Mmm... Okay, yellow flowers, check. Spiny toxic leaves. Uh, I don't notice any spine, so I don't think so. Small fruit. Doesn't look small. So I guess that's not it. Whoops, I just clicked out of the game. I better not. If I Definitely spiny, but it's got red, so nope. But the thing is, I'm also looking for orchid... Orchid... How do you pronounce it? Orchid to say isotria? Something like that. I'm also looking for that one, and these aren't giving me any of the scientific names, so... I'm not just looking for the ones with yellow flowers and spiny toxic leaves and the small fruit, but I also need something with the scientific name Orchidacea isotria. No clue what these things' names actually are. How would I get their names? Is there some way for me to, like, search on the net for them? Or maybe I need to talk to Neister once I get him back to normal? I never thought engineering would be so industrial. It's like a factory line. Warning. Security clearance not valid for access to growth lab. Vickerman Pharmaceuticals thanks you for your cooperation. What about the seed bank? <laughs> oh, oh! Oh god, what a mess. Right. I kind of forgot about Baxter's body being sealed in here. Update Central. What is the situation, Dr. Lau? Dr. Baxter is certainly... dead. He's been decapitated. And not cleanly either. His head has been removed. More like destroyed. At a glance, this would be the most likely cause of death. There's no way Regis would do that. Regis would just shoot him. He wouldn't decapitate him savagely. Unless it was the... Blackmailer forcing him to do it. Update Central. Nothing unusual found on the body, Central. Estimation on time of death? The climate control in the specimen lab is compromising your sensors. Ambient temperature is just above freezing. What is your estimation of the incident, Dr. Lau? There's too much we can't say for sure. We don't know precisely when Baxter was murdered. We can't even be sure that this was the cause of death. That is a fair assessment. A clearer picture will no doubt follow the autopsy. Don't send in anyone yet. I still need to carry out a preliminary. I understand. Continue your investigation of events surrounding the incident. Understood. Lao out. I hope I can find something to get Regis off the hook. Is 
It looks like it's controlling the sorting drones on the racks. Select stored seed samples for retrieval. Oh, here we go. Here's some scientific names. For different clients. This one's the Greater Han Republic. This one doesn't say anything. Client USA Concord. <clears throat> Concord. My voice disappeared there for a second. Um, anyway, we're looking for Orchidacea Isotria. It's not here? Did I miss it? Orchidacea Isotria. If it's not here, where would it be? It's actually not here. There's some descriptions for each one, but I don't think any of that actually matters. Just little research notes for what they're doing with the seeds. Huh. Veldron is empty. No samples have been taken from storage. Hmm. Strange. I'm obviously supposed to take something from storage at some point. Let's just take some random thing for the fun of it, I guess. It's some kind of slime. Maybe I should just sample that. You. I've taken a DNA sample from it. Well, obviously that's it's the wrong the sample. It's the DNA sampler Dr. Chigwa gave me. I need to take samples from plants I think we just hid the rest of his message in. Well, I guess we can go process it to at least get it out of the thing. Looks like Regis didn't hide any data in that one. Didn't think so. Okay, hold on. I think I missed maybe something in here. Is Can I read this? Oh, I thought maybe I could read that piece of paper. Yeah, never mind. Probably can't go into the airlock from here either. Nope. Warning. Excuse me, Dr. Chigwa. Make it quick. I'm busy. I can't get into the airlock. The airlock and the growth lab are secure areas. We grow potentially hazardous organisms beyond those doors. I'm trying to conduct an investigation here. Don't make me get a warrant from Central. I'm sorry, Central would likely agree with us. We can't just give anyone access to the growth lab. Not even a cell agent? I'd need a pretty damn good reason. I think the fact that someone's been murdered here and that there's samples that I need to piece together a message that might help me catch whoever did this, I, th I think that'd be a pretty good reason, don't you think? Hmm. Is that all? For now. Then if you'll excuse me, I'll get back to work. It's the DNA. I need to... T okay, what am I supposed to do here? It seems like I can't really do anything yet. Like, I feel like I'm missing a big piece. I mean, what do I need? I guess I need access into the airlock. And to do that, I've got to come up with a even better reason than I already have to be able to be allowed in there. Um, I also need to fix Neister by getting that stuff, but I don't know where to get the stuff. Um, right. I do have wetware. I guess I should start connecting to something. <laughs> Maybe I can just hack my way in. 
Warning, security clearance not. Come on. New security profile created. Access granted. Welcome, Dr. Love. Hmm. Thanks. That was easier than I thought. <coughs> Excuse me. That was easier than I thought. Is there anywhere else I can use wetware that I haven't thought of? Possibly in here with the seed bank. I I better not. It would only take it away and store it somewhere. Nope. Actually, can I inter interface with Neister? Wetware's not going to connect with that. Neister's beneath me. I don't actually know what's in here that's going to help me, but obviously I need something from in here. Better to have it and not need it, I guess. This could be useful. Looks like a lot of cartridges for the injector. Ah, so that's what I'm going to need. Here we go. It was this, right? To get rid of the wetware that's causing the aphasia in Neister? What the hell is Draculin? Does that turn you into a Dracula? Epinephrine. I kind of want to give him a random thing just to see what the hell happens. <laughs> Can I do that? I'm going to do that. L let's save the game. Looks like a Let's give him Draculin. <laughs> Maybe this will be an Easter egg or something. <laughs> Fox romantically sat on the secret arm. I see. Apparently that didn't help. Oh. He just does nothing. <laughs> he doesn't even mind. He's like, oh my god, what was that? Oh. Oh well. Just goes back to work. Looks like... Interesting. Beached questions you injector? Say that again? Overpass did you stick me with an injector? Now I'll have to get my aphasia rejabbed. Not cool, man. And it worked. Excuse me. Yeah? I'm CS Dr. Lau. I've been tasked with this investigation. Martin Easter. I've been tasked with the factory lab. You work with Dr. Chigwa? I work for Chigwa. I'm just the intern. Means I get stuck with all the lousy jobs she won't do. I understand. I was an intern once. So, what's a uh, CS? A detective? Case specialist. So, yes, I guess you could say that. Cool. Why did you go and give yourself aphasia? Not just that. There are lots of syndromes. It's maladies of man. Aren't diseases like that dangerous, though? It's not permanent, man. We ain't stupid. What where nodes in the body create the symptoms of things we want, which you went and broke. Gee, thanks. Uh, sorry about that. In any case, they're temporary then. Exactly. So, what other diseases have you tried? Worlds of them. Parkinson's, syphilis, tuberculosis. Oh god, really? Last month, it was Hansen's disease. Wait, leprosy? Yeah, if you're a zift, Hansen's is the real name. Sounds like quite a selection. That's why I came to study in Newton. Eurofed's just starting to get into MD culture. Even talking about banning it. Newton's where it's at for it. You guys are a lot cooler about what you let people do. On an individual basis, certainly. That's pretty much the founding philosophy here. I still don't get it. What's the hook for maladism? Man, you old folk never get things like MD. Old? Most of these syndromes are diseases that are completely curable. They just don't happen anymore. Society says no to them. So it's countercultural? An act of rebellion? Exactly. Diseases like that make the establishment uncomfortable. They don't want it to be a part of their society. But we show them they can't ever get rid of it completely. You're rubbing their faces in it, then. 
And in another way, it's uh, kind of retro. Illnesses like that are what shape society. A Black Death made Europe what it is. Got to appreciate the classics. For a lot of us, it's also about who's hardest. Posers go for little things like botulism or influenza. But you know someone's got real nose on them if they can stand a month with HIV. That's really fucked up. That's really fucked up. That's a shitty form of counterculture. Like, the man doesn't like these diseases. You know who else doesn't like th these diseases? Everybody. Because they suck. And they were cured. And you should be really happy they were cured. Jesus Christ. It sounds, honestly, it doesn't sound like counterculture has much to do with it. It just sounds more like it's uh, a test of, you know, how, how strong you are, how manly you are. Who can, who can withstand the worst diseases? They've turned something that used to be absolutely horrible and incurable, and they've turned it into a sport, basically, a, a competition. It's pretty fucked up. How do young people go about getting sick these days? It's a lot harder, but that shows it's a choice. We use wetware to create symptoms, like the aphasia. The wetware I had for that was programmed to lodge in the Barocca and Vernicki regions of the brain. So, it's not really broke as aphasia. Same symptoms, though. You'd buy wetware nodes from shops? Nah, find hobby GG programmers through the trance. They're always looking to sell. It's like a contest. They're always releasing syndromes, competing with each other. You looking to get into it? Not really my scene, thanks. Can you imagine being excited about that? Like, whoa, my favorite release group just released the newest disease. Let's try it out, man. I'd like to hear from you what happened. So, we came in this afternoon for the late shift, right? I check on the factoring line, and it turns out the specimens are nuked up. In what sense? They don't match the catalog anymore. Not that they're supposed to be. I figured Baxter nuked it up again, so I checked the feet. That's when you found the body? Yeah, but the cheek one won't let me get a look. Told me to get back to work while she called Sam. Hey, can I get a look at the body with you? I'm afraid not. Official procedure and stuff. Bummer. Dr. Chigwa tells me that some of the specimens have been tampered? Oh yeah, I found one of those. Man, couldn't they have just killed the guy without messing up my work? I need to find it. Which specimen was it? Oh, uh, a Corosei Brasilia. When I found it, I just thought Baxter was nuking it up again. What did you do with it? I just sent it back to the specimen lab. Should be there in the sample store. Okay, so that's the one I need from the seed bank. Or... Specimen lab? Is it the same thing as the seed bank? I guess we'll find out. What do you think of Dr. Chigwa? She's a hard ass, but she knows what she's doing. Kinda thinks she feels wasted working here. What can you tell me about Dr. Baxter? Not much. He only started here a couple of weeks ago. Cheek will drop him in the specimen lab and uh, kinda left him here. She neglected him? Nah, he just barely left. Could've been a workaholic, but I think he just couldn't focus on anything else. Did he ever talk about his past with you? Man, he didn't even talk to me, period, about anything. What's your personal opinion of Dr. Baxter? He didn't talk much. One nuked up guy. Chigwa told me he'd been released from jail. Looked like he had a governor in his head. That's correct. It affected his behavior? Dude, that's an understatement. That Malkin was like a zombie. One time, I dropped the whole sample tray in his lab. Anyone else would have yelled at me. He started to get mad, then looked just about ready to puke. The governor inhibited violent thought. He'd been serving a murder sentence. Oh, no way. Who'd he whack? That's confidential. Man, that's unfair. You're a tease. Just double check the name of the sample Remind that I me, need. What was that specimen you found? Jeez, what are you, senile? It was a Corsa Brasileira. All right, I'll let you get back to your job. Uh huh, whatever. Okay, Corsa Brasileira, or something like that. Crap, I didn't mean to click that.
Here we go. Discovered recently in the Amazon Conservation Zone, A. Brasileira is being tested for any marketable traits. I better not. I better not. Wait, what? I better not. Oh, that's the injector. <laughs> Whoops. I've taken a DNA sample from it. I wonder if I can get more drugs. Looks like a lot of... I can. You know, I'm going to carry Draculin with me. It just sounds so ridiculous, and I've got a hunch that it might lead to an Easter egg or something at some point. You know, maybe she'll keep it in her inventory and I can use it at the end of the game or something. Loaded with Draculin, a natural anticoagulant found in vampire bats. Oh, that's what it is. So I guess if somebody's bleeding, perhaps I can use that. So you're telling me it's not going to turn them into a vampire? Lame. I'll still keep it. They've got these pipes everywhere. Nothing happened. <laughs> Nothing happened in here. Go to the other room and there's like a fire. Whole place is burning down. What have you done? Actually, now that you can actually talk, what happens if I try to touch this? Hey, don't touch the valve. What do you think Dr. Chiba makes fix them when they burst? All right, all right, I won't touch them. Okay, so I'm looking for one with yellow flowers. Some more pipes. Oops. <laughs> Good job. I'm just gonna leave that. Whatever. <laughs> yellow. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Yellow flowers, check. Spiny toxic leaves, well, I don't know if they're toxic, but they are spiny, and small fruit. Probably gonna stop the fan, right? Let's see. Orchidacea isotria. Updated version, copyright, Typhal Labs. It says it's Chamber A that's Orchidacea Isotria, though. Isn't that the one on the left here? Wouldn't this be A? The one on the right that actually matches the description? They're keeping things in here because they're dangerous or unusual. Probably not what I want to be carrying around. But the one that actually matches the description is the one on the right. Endoxia Medica. I guess take them both? I thought I needed to sample this, though. Oh. I guess I just sample them both. Watch your fingers. I've taken a DNA... I've taken a DNA... Okay, that should do it. Hey, this one's empty. Alright, can I close this valve? Damn it. Nyster! Gaben, you need to fix steam. I mean, you need to fix valve. Warning. Copyright breach in progress. Oh, fuck me. Excuse me? You are not authorized to remove Orchidacea Isotria samples from the growth lab. They are copyrighted property of Typho Labs GmbH. Beginning purge. Oh, no, you don't! You. Hey, my sample! What did you do? To prevent theft of intellectual property, gene sequences in your possession have been neutralized. Have a nice day. Gee, thanks. How's that for DRM? Alright, so that's what the pipes have to be about, huh? Nothing happened.
So can I do anything more with these? I don't think so. Can't touch that anymore. Maybe I need the tools. Let's make sure I'm not missing any hotspots. Hmm. Wetware's not going. Wetware's. Can I just like hack it to just not do that anymore? All right, let's check the tools. I can't figure out what any of these. Hmm. Thought maybe there'd be a wrench and I could like mess up the valve in there. Uh. Would this one do anything? I doubt it. Hey, hold the All right. Excuse me. Yeah. Oh right, you gotta go fix it, man. Hey. The pipes in the growth lab are leaking. Ah, you get again? You better go fix it before Chiqua starts yelling. There we go. Okay, so now I can turn this? I guess these pipes aren't broken. That did nothing, apparently. The labels, these shouldn't be handled without protective gear. I never thought Genjin. Nothing happened. Now, do I need to take something from the toolbox? I can't figure out what. Hmm. Excuse me. Can this wait? If I don't fix this, Dr. Cheek was gonna nuke me out. Okay, so what was the point of distracting him? Just so I could turn the pipe in there that doesn't actually do anything? He took his tools, which also didn't seem to do anything. And this still does nothing, right? Nothing happened. I don't get it. Can I use this console? No. So what was the point of making him do that? I don't get it. Would the fact that he's there fixing that leak somehow cause the copyright thing to not take effect so I can just go do it now? I don't see why that would do anything though. It seems highly implausible. Uh, I guess I'll try it though, but I'm pretty sure it's not gonna work, so I'm just gonna... I'll just cut here and I'll come back when I find the solution. Better not lose it. Uh, wait, I just put my wetware in his toolbox? I was basically just using everything on everything. I wasn't expecting that to actually do something. I was like, oh, what if I can connect with the toolbox? Because she said I can't figure out what these tools are for, so I'm like, well, why don't you just interface with them? Which is absurd, because I'm sure none of them are that technically advanced. But instead she put the wetware inside of the toolbox. Why? What the hell is that going to do? And of course, that triggers a script that automatically, auto-magically, causes him to be done fixing the pipes. Which makes zero sense. Yeah, so what did that do? And now I just picked up my wetware. What? Um Am I supposed to hide my wet am I supposed to hide the sample in the wetware? Would that cause it to not pick it up? But... Hmm... I mean...
mean, I guess it's not... <sighs> Maybe they are authorized to take the intellectual property, but I'm not, so I simply need to piggyback it in their toolkit. I don't, I don't understand how the wetware is involved at all, but I could see maybe putting the sample in the toolkit, I guess. Alright, let's go bust it and get him to go over there again, I guess. God, I hate puzzles like this. Oops. It's so silly. It's so incredibly immersion-breaking. The only way this puzzle makes any sense at all is if you assume that as soon as you do the thing you're supposed to do, it triggers a script that causes him to go back and be done fixing the pipe. Which is exactly what happens, but it's absurd. Because you can obviously see all you're doing is triggering a script. Like, it doesn't make any sense. It's, it's silly. You do the thing the game wants you to do, and then a scripted thing happens. It's... Ugh. Ugh. Excuse me. Yeah. Go fix it. Hey. Yeah, so I don't get the wetware, but I do need to get the sample and I guess somehow put it in his toolbox. Okay, so do I need to, like, use the sampler on the wetware? No. Wetware's not going. Okay, so maybe you can put the wetware in there, just as kind of like an example to tell the player that, oh, you can put stuff in the toolbox, even though it's not the wetware that you're actually supposed to put in there. So maybe I am just supposed to put the DNA sampler. Yeah, okay. Not lose it. So you can put, I guess, anything you want in there. And of course, he's magically done fixing the pipe again. Not suspicious at all about the fact that I'm running around, touching his toolbox while he's fixing it. Yeah, there we go. That is a really silly puzzle. You know, I was hoping that getting samples from the DNA of plants to put together an audio message would be cool, but it really wasn't. The idea is so cool, but the execution is just lame. I'm disappointed. It just sounds so cool, though. Let's hope the message is, is cool. Is it going to be a cool message? It's probably not going to be cool. It's probably going to be depressing. It worked! There's some more. Aha! Got some! Audio file incomplete. Please add missing sectors to file I'm and try again. I'm going to need again. to find where he's hidden the rest of the message before I get any sense out of it. Wasn't that everything? Oh wait, but I still have the audio recording made of the data that Regis hid in the lab specimen's DNA. Uh... Do I need to put? It's the D. I need to take. I don't understand. Isn't that all the ones I needed? So I'm missing one piece? I'm going to need to. It's just this, right? No, wait, stop. No. Ah. I'm going to need to. I thought that was it. What else is there? 
Ah, okay. I just I just realized what the final key to the clue is. Um, can I check my email from here? Because that would help in describing what's supposed to happen. Wow, you actually can't check your email from the traveler, huh? That's brutal. That's brutal. Because I'm pretty sure it's the email that has an email from Regis. Like, it's her email account back at the station that has an email from Regis that just says Max Lau, right? I guess if you didn't see that, you might be really, really, really stuck. But anyway. Alright, if you actually look at this... When it plays... Let's let it play out for a second. Notice how these spell out Max Lau, or they... It, it disappears without even clicking anything, annoyingly enough. But yeah, this would spell out Max Lau, except the X is missing, so I just need a sample that starts with an X to fill it out. And that should do it. <clears throat> also, it feels like there's something freaking stuck in my throat! Stop bothering my throat! But yeah, that's actually pretty cool. It's gotta be the only one that starts with an X, huh? Xenosporins to Zardi. Yeah, it's gotta be it. Oh, wait, what? I actually took it? I didn't mean to click it, I thought you have to use the DNA sampler on it. What is this stuff? Better trance up some data on it. One of the only known examples of extraterrestrial life, X Tazardi was first discovered on Tazardi's comet in 2055 by the ART 3 survey probe mission. Similar in many respects to terrestrial fungi, this is believed by some to be an example of convergent evolution and panspermia by others. In any case, its extremely rapid growth in Earth's atmosphere poses severe ecological risks. While it is highly sought after for study, samples are closely controlled, posing an obstacle to research. To prevent accidental germination, this organism is stored as a growth matrix. Growing only in carefully controlled laboratory environments, this helps to reduce the risk of what some have termed the most mundane alien invasion imaginable. That sounds kind of terrifying. An alien invasion, invasion of a... almost fungi. It won't take a DNA sample from the growth matrix. Maybe it needs a bigger specimen? Oh, are you telling me I need to grow it? I don't suppose there's multiple samples, are there? Wait, are there? Unable to sample from seeds or growth matrices. Huh, it won't. I guess it needs to have grown. Okay, uh, so how would I grow it? Wetware's not going to connect with that. What is this stuff? Growing only in carefully controlled laboratory environments. That does not help. Can you tell me how to grow this stuff? Excuse me. Yeah. Nope. All right. Uh -huh. What about Chigwa? Excuse me, Doctor Chigwa. Make it quick. I'm oh, wait a minute. You know what? Is that for now? Then if I know what it is, it's the empty one over here, isn't it? I'm just gonna brew up a, a big whole batch of this incredibly dangerous alien stuff. Seems safe. Probably gonna have to throw out all the samples in here or something. There, I've planted the growth matrix. Let's hope I got mom's green fingers. Now we just have to wait. I only just planted it. Exponential growth, danger of contamination. Isn't this gonna take, like, weeks?
Plan more? There. I've planted. Let's hope I... Okay, bye. Is it done now? <laughs> Fuck me. I better not touch it with my bare hands. You... I've tranced too many horror sims that start that way. You might want to tell Chigwa, because they need to, like, burn down the building right now. Can I zap this thing? I think it's about to become sentient. As much as I love shocking things, I don't think it'll help. She is gonna be so freaking pissed at me. Let's see if I can tell him about it. Excuse me. Yeah. So, um I think there might be a problem in the growth lab. I kinda sorta planted that xenofungus from the growth matrix. Oh, awesome. That stuff is hella toxic. Nukes nerf tissue up like nothing else. You sound strangely upbeat about environmental catastrophes. Nah man, that's cool. This shit happens all the time. Management gives us time off whenever they run Beacon. Hmm. I guess he's happy then. All right, I'll let you. Uh -huh. Enjoy your time off, because they're going to be deconning this place for a long time. Let's not tell her about it just yet. Let's uh, get the sample and then tell her about it. Yes. Lau, if you're listening to this, well, it means they've got me. Oh no, Regis! No, no, no. But, but I. Lau. Ignore anything left in the recording up to this point. Huh? Sorry for being so unhelpful with the message, but I had to be sure you were the one who heard it first. Everyone will be saying that I came to the lab to... Well, for Baxter. And they might be right. Except that he's been dead since before I got here. Yes! We need to touch bases on this case. Meet me... Hmm. Meet me where we were both first involved in a case. I'll try to explain when you get here. Good luck. Oh, thank God. You've got some explaining to do, Regis. I saw an opportunity for striking back at Regis, a kind of poetic justice. At Regis? You've never even met the man. Yes, but I... You haven't offloaded Baxter yet, have you? Ugh. Look, there might just be a use for your newfound vendetta. The tap on his partner was successful. She found where Regis is hiding. He's an unfactored element. Now, he needs to be removed from the equation. Don't worry. I'll kill him myself if it comes to it. There's only so much of the city's resources that can be diverted to this. Find him, finish him, then return for offloading. Remember, I'm your controller, not Baxter. Don't be so sure. So they're tracking Lau. So I got out. I managed to find somewhere to lie low. But I know what Central's capable of. You can only hide from it for so long. Lau had better find that message before an aerostat comes this way. What the hell? <laughs> message in a bottle? Someone managed to get this through the window. They must have one hell of a pitching arm. What the hell is this? The bottle is some kind of thermal container, about half full of thick liquid. The words, drink me, are stenciled on the side. Uh, no thanks? Why would I want to drink that? Huh. Well, I think I'll figure that out in the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.